Now we're going to discuss marketing your material and whether you go the self-publishing route or the traditional publishing route, either way, you have to market yourself. Don't depend, if you go the traditional route, do not depend on your publishing company to be the only marketing that is taking place. You have to understand that publishing companies generally have many other authors and while we all would like to be number one, it is not possible, you know? So they will dedicate marketing efforts to you, but nothing is more important than marketing for yourself. Um, and I say this because when I came out with my first book years ago, um, no one knew who I was, but I made it a point to brand myself. Well, see, there's that brand and market myself. Mache was everywhere. I decided my name is Mache. That's what it is. That's what we're going to do. So I started making all my friends call me that. That's what it is. That's who I am. I also started putting my book online, not the actual book itself, but what I did was let people know that a book was coming. This is a form of marketing. So two years before my book came out, I self-published my first book. And two years before it came out, I started marketing this book that was not in existence yet. <laughs> I had a few chapters done. But the good thing about that was it breeds accountability. You know, people would ask about it. When is this book coming out? And the more people asked about it, the more of a buzz it was about it. And the more of a buzz it was, you know, the more anxious I am to get it done and the more anxious they are to buy something when it does come out. And I used, at the time, I didn't have all this Instagram and what, what else about Snapchat and Twitter. I just had Facebook. And I used Facebook to full capacity, okay? When and when my book came out, I was able to sell in my first week a few hundred copies, I think between 300 and 500 copies of my book. So it wasn't just friends. It's, it's pretty amazing because, you know, through Facebook, I was able to reach other individuals and that was awesome. So that is a form of marketing. Um, in today's world, though, it's so many different ways to market yourself across so many different platforms between Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, um, LinkedIn, YouTube, Vine, Vimeo. That's just to name a few. <laughs> okay, you can definitely get your point across. They have ads you can pay for that, that really don't cost that much. If you're on a strict budget though, definitely use your timeline and post as much as you can about your work. You don't have to have something finished. People just need to know that you're working on something that's going to come out. You want to do this so you can guarantee that you generate sales and sales are very important. The closer you get, if you're going to self-publish your book, go ahead and put it on, you need a website and then you can put it on sale for pre-order on your website. You need to generate sales and you're trying to generate an income from your book. So put it on sale. Let people know they can buy your book in advance. Word of mouth is still the number one way to market for everyone. It's still the number one way. To get people to purchase things because if your friend says they have something you're more likely to try it out than say some stranger on the street it's just how it is it's how people it's our part of our makeup so definitely definitely use any channels you can get a website there are many different ways to get a website even if you're not designed or technology inclined there are websites that create, there are places that create websites for you, you know, or they give you templates like Wix.com and GoDaddy, um, Yahoo.com. They all have platforms for you to use and templates for you to use just to get your work out there and to have a home site for yourself to promote your work and get those business cards done and pass them out and get flyers of your new book done and pass them out, you know. Um, Marketing is everything. You can run a newspaper ad when your book first comes out. You can do a press release and send it to the newspaper. Send it to a lot of newspapers. Someone will probably print it. They're always looking for new information to print in the newspaper. They're always looking for articles. So definitely go that route. Um, there are plenty of blogs. Maybe you can um, find a blogger or link up with a blogger who can write about your book. Give them a free copy. If your manuscript is done, send them the manuscript if you trust them. You need reviews. Get those reviews in if you finish this book and you're self-publishing. 
Reviews definitely help you as a self-published author because no one is pushing you but you. Get a team going. If that's family, if friends, if you're not good at selling your own work, you find a friend that's good at selling your work, okay? When I came out my first book, I wasn't good at selling my work. But my friends were definitely good at selling my work. They were really proud of me and they could sell me to anybody, okay? And having them on my team definitely made me a bigger seller. Um, another way, thing you can do is get emails. And this is something that's going to take time. Um, but it's not impossible definitely work on an emailing list and you can do this right now you know let people know a book is coming try to research people that read in your genre of books and then if you have a synopsis down or a few chapters they can read a chapter it's okay to lend out a chapter for people to read just to get an interest when i started with my very first book um coveted which is also mentioned as one of the books you should get to follow along or to review or critique for this course. Um, I definitely send out chapters. I would send out three, four, five chapters sometimes. I definitely, I wanted to generate a buzz about my book and that was my way of marketing myself. I, I definitely sent out those chapters. I posted chapters on Facebook. I'm just trying to get people involved and they were like, oh my gosh, what is this book? Where can I find it? And like I said, that's what helped generate a buzz and that's what got me sales um as soon as the book came out i had sales from people i didn't even know like this book is out finally i'm so excited because i read the first three chapters and they were amazing so i know this book is going to be great so you definitely can do something like that without the risk of someone stealing your work it's only a little piece you know it's not the whole thing do not post your whole book and this is just a few things to help you with marketing in your handbook I have listed a lot of resources for you and many different techniques and tactics that you could use to help market and brand yourself. So definitely refer to the examples that are listed in the handbook and make sure you do those things. And maybe you have a few ideas of your own and definitely in the course section, the comment section of the course, definitely um, chat with, you, uh, with each other and you know be a resource for each other and maybe drop some jewels for your classmates